<clears throat> Master Bruce, stop! Master Bruce, what are you? I will not in good conscience allow you to go! You're outmatched by these assassins! What? You're not some hardened vigilante! You're a young man with a trust fund and too much anger. You're in over your head and I... I don't want this to be your end. Alfred, who do you see when you look at me? The boy whose shoes you used to tie every morning? The teenager you drove to his first date? While you are here every night, I am out there. The only thing between the innocent you and the may predator. Be. No, not but... may be. I am. When the mugger or the thief stops to think twice, that is fear. That is what I am. That is why they hired assassins, because I am the reason the criminals breathe easier when the sun rises. So no, Alfred, I am not in over my head. Tonight will not be my end, but it will be theirs. I know I can't do that. I'll have to find a way in that'll avoid detection. Indeed. Now look, I'm sorry about what I said before you left. I hope you understand. It's just because... It's okay. I understand. I've got multiple calls available. Sending them out in priority order.
Department's wrong about you. I knew it. Mandatory curfew is in effect. I can use the glue grenade to stop the flow of steam from these pipes so I can advance. It's not Bane, but one of his men. The same one I saw at the riot in the precinct's holding cells earlier. I should scan his corpse. The victim was dosed with a chemical that caused temporary deformation of his physiology. I'll need to check the autopsy report to find out more. 
That computer should contain the autopsy report I'm looking for. Interesting. The victim was using a powerful compound with many similarities to the street drug Venom at the time of his death. It changes the user's muscle and bone structure, greatly enhancing strength for a temporary period. It appears that whatever this compound is, it reduces mental capacity in several ways, including severe damage to the brain's memory center. Prolonged use could seriously compromise the user's memory. There's Bane's tracker. All available units, we've received reports of shots fired inside the Coventry District. Witnesses describe two armed groups fighting over what appear to be chemical weapons. Requesting any available officers locate and secure the scene. Chemical weapons? I should investigate.
Just what we needed. I should hurry to Bane's location before I lose the signal again. Hit and run just outside GCPD. This was no accident. Victim is Nate Ramo, a member of the SWAT division. His whole team is currently under investigation by Internal Affairs. I wonder what he was doing here. Looks like he was thrown a considerable distance by the vehicle. I can use the spatter distribution to determine the point of initial impact. This is where Ramo was killed. DNA evidence indicates the car was traveling at a high rate of speed, but the angle of spatter shows the driver lost control and the car was weaving. I should review the crime scene, see if anything else was hit. Chemical analysis indicates a specific brand of paint that narrows down the make and model of the car, and cross-referencing these specs with a list of his team members returns a single name, John DeMarco. Time to pay him a visit. Why did you do it, DeMarco? Why did you kill Ramo? I indeed didn't have enough to make the charges stick, but the kid got scared, made a deal, and decided to talk. <laughs> Traitor. You'd have been out of jail in a few years on the drug charges, but now, murder means life. We'll see about that. With all the evidence I've collected, it won't take long for the jury to convict. Funny thing about evidence, it has a tendency to disappear. Not on my watch. Alfred, let GCPD know that Ramo's murderer has been captured. I'm also sending you a taped confession. We'll bring down the rest of the team with him. Available units, call in status. Possible assignment.
Cool. On him! you had a city to save. So what are you doing wasting time with me? helping me, Enigma. Did you ever consider maybe you're not as clever as you think? <laughs> Says the man who seems to have mistaken Christmas Eve for Halloween. <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, I've got the entire city under surveillance, feeding me all of its dirty little secrets. And I did it all on your watch, oh great guardian of Gotham. So, what do you have to say to that? I'm taking your network down. Spoken like a true Neanderthal. Well, you can certainly try. 